Hey everyone, PJ here, and I've recently found a new show called Forged in Fire. Basically, it's a show where different blacksmiths compete to try to outdo each other's craftsmanship. Seems like a simple premise, right? Well, someone here on YouTube has apparently taken issue with it. He goes by Film Trip on YouTube and started his channel back in 2016. He uploaded this video a year ago and people are not taking kindly to it whatsoever. Here are a few examples. Time to sue for defamation. Your type of creators is a blight on the platform. I just lost 8 minutes of my life. I want it back now. Seriously should be ashamed. I'd argue Doug has a legitimate defamation case. Good luck! Yeah, people are pretty pissed at not just the video, but the channel as a whole. If you go into the community tab, you'll see angry comments telling him to leave the platform. So with that, let's tear this guy a new one, shall we? Forged in Fire is currently in its ninth season. But unfortunately, it seems the show might be coming to a close for various dark and surprising reasons. In today's video, we take a closer look at why Forge and Fire is officially ending. Yeah, that didn't age well. According to Wikipedia, the show has 10 seasons and is still going. So right off the bat, this loser can't be trusted. Daunting. Season 9 of the show Forge and Fire debuted recently in Spring 2022. And though the season is still currently airing, many fans want to know if it will continue for a 10 season. The show is all about creating weapons and tools capable of dealing lots of damage and being effective in general. As a result, people worry that the show encourages negative behavior. How? How does showcasing effective blades encourage bad behavior? I mean, yeah, blades are dangerous. Anyone with anything resembling half a brain cell will tell you that much. But that doesn't mean that kids are suddenly going to turn bad the moment they see a knife or a sword. By that logic, playing Minecraft encourages negative behavior because it allows you to make swords, kill wildlife, rob villages, and burn forests. What, are you going to accuse Mojang of promoting terrorism? And having combat blades in your possession doesn't make you a bad person. Like I said before, blades are dangerous, but not everyone uses them as weapons. In fact, most of the time they're used as tools. Plus, some people just like collecting them. It's not that big of a deal. And while the show was intended for a more older demographic, a lot of kids still watch the show. Parents may not appreciate the knife test done on the show, and glorify items capable of dealing lots of damage. These days, parents are getting more and more involved with the content their kids consume on the internet, and it's unlikely that parents will approve of Forged in Fire. You do know it's possible for parents to, I don't know, not let their children watch a certain show? Not only that, but kids become obsessed with swords all the time. It's what kids do. Hell, my brother and I used to have sword fights all the time when we were kids. This is the reason toy swords exist, you absolute walnut! I seriously doubt any parent in their right mind is going to let their child play with a real sword. Therefore, decreasing the amount of people watching it and the amount of people supporting it. Okay, I think you're blowing this way out of proportion. I mean, technically you're right, not letting your kids watch a show will decrease that show's view count, but I don't think that's gonna hurt Forged in Fire in any way. Since the official Forged in Fire YouTube channel has over 600,000 subscribers at the time of me writing this, and their videos get around 35,000 views on average. So, yeah, I don't know about you, but it looks to me like this show is thriving pretty well. The host of Forged in Fire, I'm a fan of Forged in Fire. I've got experience. Grady Powell is a former U.S. Army Green Beret. Oh my god! Do you seriously not know how to pronounce beret? You absolute toe sucker! Seriously, people like you are the reason ketchup has instructions. Did you even bother to go to elementary school? You impact! Shut your fucking hell, Billy! Piss your shit, While the host is a completely credible person, the truth is, fans haven't been resonating with him as they did with Will Willis. This is a common occurrence in media, where a program doesn't feel the same without certain people. Will Willis was with the show from the very start, and longtime Fortune Fired fans truly enjoyed his commentary and his insight. At the same time, 
some viewers may have lost interest in the show because of this new change, resulting in less viewers and ultimately the show declining and being cancelled. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this here for a bit. Also, when are we gonna get to the serial killer part? I'm not stupid, I read the thumbnail. Yeah, he's not gonna get to that part. Wait, what? Yeah, the part where it says serial killer caught never shows up in the entire video. It's clickbait, meaning this guy just wasted eight minutes of everyone's lives. Oh, that's bullshit! This is blatant false advertising. Nowhere in the whole video does it say anything about Doug Mercada being an alleged serial killer. Which is the very thing that the thumbnail was advertising. So, in conclusion, Film Trip is garbage, his content is painful to sit through, he's flat out dishonest with the way he presents his videos, and if you're subscribed to his channel, then do yourself a favor and unsubscribe, because this guy will rot your brain harder than Lankybox will. And I know I've already used this clip multiple times, but I'm gonna use it again since it's such a useful clip. So, Film Trip, if you're watching this, then here's what I have to say to you. You are literal human scum. You are a waste of cum, okay? You are the cum sandwich that deserves to be lit on fucking fire. Not even consumed, not let anywhere near a human body for a possible chance of reproduction. That's what you are. And that's where I'm going to leave this video off. What do you think? Like always, I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this topic instead of taking my word at face value. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go guys cream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.